House meeting in five minutes. That's good. That's good. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Fine. <laughs> has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. Clean. I'll still need some bandages and something to keep it from getting infected. That man sometimes. this baby. <laughs> Please help me. I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me, and I won't tell him. I... I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. You want to see it? Uh, it really wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. Okay. Ew, gross. I know, right? You have to bandage it, like my dad does. Yeah, I know. Help me. 
I need something to clean it up and something to wrap it with. A clean bandage. My dad says we're out of real bandages, but I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this supplies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super cool. We're not the same age. What? We're not the same age. You said we were. We're not. How old are you? I'm 15. I'm younger. A lot. You don't seem like it. That's just how it is. So we could be friends then. Eventually. That's not a real answer. I just don't know you. Then I'm not helping you. I won't tell my dad you're out, but leave me alone. Wait. Yes or no? No. Fine then. If I help you, will you leave me alone? I don't want to get in trouble. I'll get the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. Could be, we don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. They'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in shit. You think we should bring her in here?
This is gonna suck. part. Now, just like last time, just how Krista showed me. Get in here. Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. 
Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what is really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway... Hopefully you understand. Bad things have happened to everyone. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. 
So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Well, well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. I had to. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Luke invited me to stay. Good for him, but that's not how things work around here. We make decisions as a group, and you're wearing out your welcome. You got what you came here for. Now go.